Street. So, you're officially boss. <laughs> of my shift, and then Craig has his turn for some wacky fun. If I get a hint that you're not working together, I'm going to pull the pin on this deal. Oh, I'm good with it. Sarah, enough. Now, your shift is ended. Go home. What, are you scared you'll lose your temper and hit me again? So, Hurricane Sarah strikes again, eh? She was trying to tell him that his mum's rest home sucks. Oh, by calling him an uncaring jerk, of course. Do you think he'll take it any further? Oh, yeah. Sarah had a point. Mrs Drysdale shouldn't have to go back to a home that lets her get pressure sores. Well, we can't keep her here. Liaise with their manager for better nursing care? Yeah, maybe our best option. Our only option. Mm. And her case of legionnaires. You don't think it is? Well, it's possible. But unlikely. Okay. Any other messes to clean up? Only you and Sarah. Separate shifts aren't going to work if you're still going to argue. Look, when Sarah calms down and apologises to everybody as per usual, and things will go back to normal. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You can't clean up after her forever. I'm not. I won't. I just. I just want peace on earth and goodwill to all men, okay? It's like you had the same day I did. Yeah, well, you get that, don't you? You are right? I wanted everything squared away by the end of my shift, and instead, all I left was this big mess. I feel like a house surgeon. Welcome to my world. Sorry, but you know what I mean. Completely. Plus, there's a complaint about me. How come? I tried to tell this guy his mum is being neglected at her nursing home and he wouldn't listen to me, so... I basically called him a jerk. In the middle of ED, in front of about 40 witnesses. Ooh, we have the diplomat, eh? Hmm. I refused to send her back to that home, but now Craig's on. She's old and a bit la-la, so who cares? So, so what are you going to do? Go home and drink wine. There's nothing you can do to prove your case. No, the home's got a four-star rating. It costs a bundle to get a room there, so everyone figures, well, it's just the worst luck poor old dear got so bad. Neglected, you mean? Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. Brenda, hey, it's TK. Hey, listen, um, that old lady from the rest home, which one was it? Oh, no, no reason. Okay, thanks, mate. Gotta go. We're doing the same job, you know. How do you figure? Hunters come in, they go away, in, out, in, out. Okay, I patch them up and you get them drunk, but you know what I mean. <gasps> Bad day, eh? Mm. I nearly got myself sick. How come? Oh, I care too much about poor, helpless little old ladies. Oh, there's a job going at the Antarctic base. No way. Mm. No nursing homes? No, Craig, hey, I'm packing my bags. <coughs> What about DK? Mm -hmm. Such a good mate, such a lovely guy. <laughs> nah, he'd be well rid. Anyway, his jobs. Brunei, Liverpool. Ooh, Buenos Aires. I could learn how to tango. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Samoa. Nice. But you know, seriously, no, thanks. Samoa's out. Best if I leave Dan alone. Your son? Yeah, he's really happy with his dad and his stepmom. Give me five minutes and I'd just screw it up for him. Good friend, you are way too hard on yourself. It's time to take action. Such as? Apart from drinking heavily. Apart from? I do what I usually do when I screw things up. Start apologising. Does uh, Sarah need to attend an anger management course, perhaps? Well, like drama queen management. <laughs> I think I need to apologise. No, you don't. As long as it's clear, you didn't hit Sarah on purpose. I know it, everyone knows it. Customer? Alcohol, OD, vomiting packets. Oh, tis the season, etc. Her name? Cherie Laws. And what happened with Cherie? Uh, we went early to a cocktail party. I don't think she had enough to eat. OK, guys, cubicle three, please.
Have you had anything else, Cherie? Any drugs? <laughs> you are? Wayne. Are you her boyfriend? Uh, yeah. We need to know if she's had anything other than alcohol. Oh, no, no, nothing. I promise. All right. Uh, Brenda, perhaps Wayne might like a cup of coffee? Come on, let the doctor and nurse do their thing. Check this. It's been assaulted. job, you might get two scoops. Mrs. Drysdale, I'm Dr. Samuels. I want to ask you about infant rest home. Mm -hmm. Do you like living there? It's not my home. But do you like the people there? They're all old. What about the people who care for you? Are they nice? Mm, very poorly educated. You mean not trained? Mm. They're very kind. Poor things. Why would you say that, Mrs. Drysdale? I wish Rosebud was here. Oi! Hey! What are you up to? Oh, I was just, um... This lady dropped her tissues on the floor, so I picked them up. What are you really up to? Now I'm going. Ah, Wayne. There you are. I thought you'd taken off. No. <laughs> the doctor would like a quick chat. Oh, is Shuri okay? She'll be fine. Come on. Uh, Wayne, wasn't it? Yes. Is shall we okay? Can I take her home, sir? Uh, we'll be fine, thanks, Brenda. Why don't you run me through what happened? Uh, it was a keg party at one of the hostels. Uh, we started early. She got munted. Yet you're staying cold sober. How's that? Oh, I had a couple of beers. Light beers. That's pretty tame. Oh, I was okay with it. Okay, so she drank a lot and you didn't. That's correct. And neither of you had any drugs or anything? No, no. Uh, I don't understand. I thought Sheree just had too much to drink. Oh, she did indeed. You didn't mind? Sheree does what she wants. Uh, yeah, I know someone exactly like that. So you guys didn't fight about it? A fight? No. So how do you explain the bruises on her arms? Oh, no, look, you've got it all wrong. I'd never hurt her. Okay, so how do I explain the bruises? Um... I, I had to get her off the lawn, into the car. Maybe I bruised her arms then. Well, there you go. That must be how it happened. Yeah, I guess. So can I take her home soon? Uh, let me just check on her, okay? Okay. <laughs> 